Good morning. Go ahead, Vetri. Yeah, just. Good morning, all the wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary, and beautiful people. Here we are to explore what is that unknown. And we are in the serious business of creating something, creating for us, creating for our family, creating for the entire world. Once somebody asked, what is that you guys are doing every morning, joining together in EMC? I openly told him, we are making this world a better place. How you are doing it? Because we are trying to become a better versions of ourselves. That is the maximum service we can do to this world. And the world will take care of itself. All the duty we have in our hand is to get a better perspective, to look, choose some better things and become a better version. That is very much possible. So that is the base theme of this empowering morning conversation. And we are so fortunate and lucky that we have a person like Sukhdeepak who learned all the modalities and there in the training field for more than 30 years and touched many, many people's lives. And he is selflessly giving all the teachings and he is with us in this transformation journey. And we are all mostly getting benefited from this. And with this wonderful thought, let us get into the session. We have certain things lined up today and I tell you it is all going to be very exciting. And you will have what your share of peace, joy and glory. So with that introduction, I would like to invite our great member, Niti Ji, to guide us on gratitude uh, session. Uh, Niti Ji, good morning, over to you. Good morning, Patricia. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Um, I would encourage all of you to come on the camera for the gratitude exercise. Sit back in a comfortable position. Take a deep breath and let go. Take another deep breath and let go. You can close your eyes. Take another deep breath and let go. Now focus on your feet. Pay gratitude to your feet that take you everywhere you want to go. The soles of your feet, the big toe, the fingers, the top of the foot. Pay gratitude to your feet that tirelessly support you through the day. Moving to your ankles, pay gratitude to your ankles. Coming up to your calves, pay gratitude to your calves and move towards your knees that support you in your walking and all your activities. Pay gratitude to your knees and move up through the, along the femur bone, to the thighs and the pelvic region, the genital region, paying gratitude to each joint as you go along, paying gratitude to the internal organs in your lower abdomen, from the lower abdomen moving up to the upper abdomen, the liver, Moving up to your chest, to your lungs and heart region, paying gratitude to your heart and to your lungs that support, the lungs support tirelessly in all your breathing activities, giving energy to the body. Pay gratitude to your lungs and move up to the shoulder region. Paying gratitude to your shoulders.
Now moving your attention to your fingers, the tips of your fingers, your touch points, an important sense point. Pay gratitude to your fingertips, to the length of your fingers and your palms and your complete hand. Pay gratitude to your wrist, moving up slowly, up the arms via the elbow joint. Paying gratitude and coming back to the shoulders. Take a moment here, pay your gratitude once again to your shoulders, your collarbones, and moving your attention to your throat, your voice box, your throat, the back of your neck, paying gratitude to each part as you move into the mouth. Paying gratitude to your teeth, tongue, salivary glands, entire mouth region. Focusing on your cheeks, your nose, your eyes, your two ears. Paying gratitude to your ears, to your forehead, and to the top of your head. Take an extra moment here, paying gratitude once again to your entire body and its perfect coordination in carrying you through all your activities. Now move your attention to your parents, pay gratitude to them for all that they have done for us, for bringing us into this world, giving us an upbringing and a life that we live today. Pay gratitude for all their tireless, selfless care and love and their support. Now focus your attention on all the important people in your life, your relatives, your children, your spouse, your near and distant family, your near and dear friends and acquaintances, your colleagues, everybody you come in contact with, whether they are your vendors or your suppliers, people you transact business with, people who help or service you at your place of work. Pay gratitude to all of them. For without the support, we wouldn't be able to live the kind of life that we are living today. Pay gratitude to each and every small staff, support staff, be it at home, be it in your building complex, be it at your office. Pay gratitude to all the support staff and everything they do, that they do for you. Be gratitude to everybody that you can recall and people you know, but you're not able to recall at this moment. Be gratitude to everybody who is within your known circuit. Express your gratitude to every member on EMC. Together support us. Be gratitude. Express your gratitude to our coach, our mentor, Mr. Subdeepak Malvai. Anybody else that you can think of you would like to give gratitude to, please go ahead and express your gratitude. And now express your utmost gratitude to the creator, to your creator, your deity, your God, your supreme, whichever name or form that you that you align yourself with, that you recognize the supreme, pray gratitude for all the blessings in your life, for all the learnings, 
all the growth, the experiences, for all the faith that the Supreme vests in each one and prepares us for all our challenges and growth in life. Express your utmost gratitude once again. And when you're complete and comfortable, rub your hands, massage your face, and then you can open your eyes. Thank you. Over to you, Richard. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Nidhiji. That was amazing. And for the people who are not able to come on camera, I sincerely believe that they are also doing it because you get the benefit only when you participate. When you see as an audience, the benefit may not go to you. And while Nitiji is doing that gratitude exercise, I got this sudden recipe to me for a perfect life. Other for a perfect healing or a great day, what do you want? How you prescribe? If I am a doctor, I will prescribe three times. Eat your gratitude. 24 hours, wear your smile. Your life will be taken care of. So with that, we are getting into our next session of bringing our good mood and creating our power of laughter and we are all sincere follower of that and we know the power of generation and we are getting benefited from that now let's do that when i say one two three give our 100 percent laughter without making noise and it should be 100 percentage take up underline here we go one two three come on <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you should see the full screen. <laughs> full love <of> energy. <laughs> Amazing. Give, give you hundred percent. Make it little bit more. <laughs> Take your belly. <laughs> no coffee, only laughter. <laughs> bring it out, bring it out. <laughs> Today, uh, there is no more variation. <laughs> <laughs> now, Asa, she's freaking out. Bring some variation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Asinaji. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you very much. So, so beautiful. You all can witness just in a moment the change of energy, the change of mood, and change of that power. We all have it in our hand. <laughs> Thank you very much to Supripatri for just giving us tools like this, which makes our life better every day. With that, we are getting into our uh, important discussion to leave that we have our great person who is not only getting transformed and he is helping so many people to transform. And that is none other than our Ramaji. Ramaji, good morning, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Vetri. Thank you, Nitiji. Thank you, everyone. Good morning. So let's continue the discussions we started yesterday, which is on conflict. So yesterday we looked at what is our default response when we are faced with conflict. I think it all very clearly came out. What's our default response? And that came out because of various reasons, right? The way we have learned, the way our background was, the way we experienced the conflict in situations. But now that we know, what is our default response? And we know that that is not really in a creation mode. It is not really win-win. It is not really helping everyone. 
uh, except what um, um, recently Konainji started following. So today explore, let's explore, how is that we can approach the conflict situation, which will help everyone, <clears throat> which can create something new, which can create win-win situation. So are we capable of doing that? And what power in us we can bring it out to really create an amazing situation from the conflict? So yesterday we also looked at briefly that conflict is an opportunity for us to demonstrate our capabilities and create a new reality for all of us. So let's explore that. So we know what is our default response, but now that we know so much and we have learned so much from EMC, from good to great, from so many people and particularly from Mr. Sukhdeepak Malwai. So what are the tools we can employ? What is the way we can carry ourselves? How we can approach the conflict situation to create new reality for all of us, new solution for all of us and win-win for all of us. So that's the question to explore today. So please go ahead. And uh, of course, Kunaiji yesterday started with that. What is a new approach he started adopting? So what is that we can do with whatever we are, whatever we know, whatever we can be? So that's the question for exploration today. Yes, Riddhi Garu, the, the opening batsman. Sir, immediately without any reaction and response, uh, give a pass to your thought process and think uh, that it is his, uh, his point of view and uh, listen to uh, them in case of conflict. And because always it doesn't belong to you, always. If you feel like that, then it'll be, uh, it's easy for you to come out of the country. It doesn't belong to me. So I'm sending back to the uh, person who is uh, in other person. So that's one tool I think uh, we can try it, sir. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Reddy Garu. Basically, so whatever the default reaction comes to me in the conflict situation, most probably it is not mine. It is coming from all over. So I can look at who does it belong to and then send back to the sender with consciousness attached. I think that's a, that's a great way of starting that. Uh, thank you for bringing that out. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Lena Ji. Go ahead, please. So, uh, sir, Rama sir, I found uh, the interesting point of view is the best tool for me. Yes. Uh, yeah, I can avoid the conflict through that. Yeah, so when in the conflict situation, so look at everything as the interesting point of view. My own point of view is interesting point of view. The other person's point of view is interesting point of view. So once you look at from that perspective, uh, that really you don't get into the uh, taking one position or the other. Uh, you can look at in a much more better way and interesting way. And that can lead to better solution rather than just conflict. Thank you. Thank you very much. So let's let's all uh, you know, really demonstrate these things and adopt and you know implement on a day-to-day -day basis. It only requires that initial one second to reflect on these tools and start adopting instead of just going into the default mode. Thank you, Lena Ji. So this tool I'm implementing daily. Okay. Great, great. Thank you. Yes. Understanding, that is avoid uh, uh, judging. That is, uh, that is even, with, if you have the conflict within you, it is self-conflict, 
as well as the conflicts with others. As per uh, Sukhdeepak's, uh, it is uh, judging only. That is, if you remove that judging and as well listening to those uh, people as it is, uh, sorry, along with uh, my grandson also giving voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we like his voice as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, listening, listening as it is, that is uh, without, uh, that is the, with the right interpretation of their thought process, so definitely will give this win win situation. That's what is my understanding. Uh, regarding this conflicts. Yeah, thank you, Malika Ji. Basically, listening carefully on whatever the viewpoints coming from all the sides, instead of assuming, and more importantly, not judging. So that will lead us to handle the conflict situation for in a creative mode and create win-win for all. Thank you, thank you, Malika Ji. All, all very, very simple and powerful tools. It's only the question, we all know and we all have. It is a question of just taking that pause and then implementing this thing. Thank you very much, Malika Ji. Yes, Gautam Ji. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I uh, support uh, Malika Madam told it is a, I'm, nowadays I am following, but uh, still I, I found sometimes uh, the opposite part, uh, side also is correct. And that uh, help us to, uh, not only uh, change my mind, it is also help to uh, change the thought process. That is also another thing I've seen that is a, in uh, some top management I have learned from them. They are very easy to tell the people that is I'm sorry and apologize. And uh, that uh, makes uh, things very uh, friendly situation and uh, uh, solve that uh, the conflict and come to a conclusion that is a what we could the right process we can take decision. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Gautamji. Uh, so look at from the other person's point of view also, not just look at only from your point of view. Many a times their point of view also is equally valid or much better than ours. So and also. Don't take it personally and talk to the people and you know say if you are wrong, say sorry. So yeah, that is that is another way of creating a situation for you know for making better uh, resolution rather than just conflict. I think it is all great, great, uh, simple and straightforward solutions coming up from each one of us. Thank you, Gautam Ji. Yes, Ajunaji. Asinaji, you wanted to say something? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I feel uh, when there is a conflict, uh, most of it depends on what you are, what state of mind you have come into this conflict on your own. What has happened to you earlier? If you are cool in your head, you can handle it better than if you are all ruffled in your mind. So the, then your reaction is different. When you, you are calm in your own mind, then you can think before you answer whatever happens. That's what I feel. Yes, absolutely. I think if we can bring that calmness and cool in mind, I think the simplest thing is to even to breathe. Sometimes we don't even breathe when you know, conflict arises. <laughs> so if we yeah. can really <laughs> yeah. pause for a second, breathe and cool the mind, then you will get something which will help us to resolve the conflict and create something new for mm. all of us, rather than just letting it go in the default mode. Thank you, Asinaji. Yes, Chakri. I think that Asinaji's opinion, the same thing, we need to be so cool. Um, the second thing, if we are in oneness, whether I will respond it in that way, before I'm responding and ask myself, if I'm in oneness, whether I will respond in this way or uh, I'm just in the default mode, I'm reacting it. The second thing, if I'm in confused state, I can tell that crazy statement. Everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. I can tell a few times, then I can respond. Wow. So we have infinite number of tools in our hands to really yeah. use it 
and create something completely out of the world. Thank you, Shakti, to bring out these tools as well. Yes, uh, Mr. Sai Nathan. Good morning. Uh, I'm from Chennai. Yes. Uh, actually, the, the conflict, uh, when there is a conflict, uh, uh, there are a few people are there. Each person will express their own opinions. From their perspective, it will be correct. If we analyze the other person's view also, everything will be one and the same. The way how they represent will vary. But uh, you need uh, I mean, uh, silence as well as to analyze each person's things. Then definitely many, many things uh, will be in uh, align with the same uh, situation. And so that you can uh, uh, avoid the conflict of a person, in fact. It's only the mindset at the situation when they represent. So, for example, there is an accident has happened some places or something. The different people will differently narrate it. It depends upon their mindset at the situation, not another way. Right. So, so yeah, in the conflict situation, it is not necessary that each one of uh, each one of them are looking at differently. It, it will not be the same. In all probability. In all probability, all probab everybody all is looking at more, the, yeah. Yeah, in yeah, the exactly. same way, and everybody wants the same thing. Exactly. If you really you know, listen carefully, think carefully, and be cool, that's what we can arrive at. That everybody wants the same thing. Only thing is the way they want is slightly different. So if you are there present, uh, you can find out uh, the, the ways solution. it means. Yeah, solution which satisfies all of them. Yeah, that's that's a great. Uh, Understanding and view, Mr. Sainadan. Thank you. In in fact, one of my uh, actually, I mean, Rotary. One of my friend has explained in a such a way. There is a cube, cubical thing is there. One point, there is a center is there. If you analyze that, uh, this is from front side or top side or back side. It will vary from person's uh, perspective. But it there is many ways are there to see the hole, which is represent the top or back side or inside or something like this. So, exactly. Uh, exactly. That's so what when you are looking at, uh, yeah, when you are looking at from this side, you see six. If you look at from the other side, you see uh, nine. But if you look yeah. at in an expanded state, you know that you no, know, both are correct, and it's only both are correct. Points. That's correct. Yeah, right. So that's the we, we got trained from there's an is from peace and conflict area. Actually, I, we are we have a specific chapter on peace and conflict in road training. Right. I okay. think Mr. Sukhdeep will explain more uh, than me. Right. Thank you. Have a good day. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Saima. Uh, Rama, can I speak for a while? Uh, yes, sir. We're welcome. After a long time, we are seeing you. So, yeah. uh, KP and Lina Ji, let's uh, listen from Vijay Ji before you start. See, yes, what sir. I understand, what I understand, okay, normally we live as me, I. If we reverse the me, no, then there is a we. If we work on the getting conscious, okay, we are all one. We are not no different. Like, like, like we are all having the, our body. So we have got the five or let's say 20 fingers, right? One nose, two ears, two eyes. No, it's a part of one body. When we say, think okay, I am a different than others, I need, then I, I may go into the kind of a conversation that I need to prove myself that I am better than others. And the proving something, the conflict arises. But if I if we develop the consciousness, if we our all are one, the purpose is one, no? Even if we see the government, correct? So there is a coalition. So now in the body, there is a coalition for five senses. So ek in Hindu mein, ek man bhed, ek mad bhed. So views are different, but you know, thinking is one. If we go probably in this direction, we can have not the conflict resolutions, but how to move together towards the one place. The end is a one, no? Moksha. So the destination is one, but the pathways are different. The pathway which you feel, material feel, the Shinatevi feel, the Jorian feel, could be different. That's fine, no? If we go in the surrendering and accepting the other people as they are and they are not, when I am talking to you, 
my eyes are fixing you my ears are listening probably to the other people also so if we think of the ganesha i'm not the following about the religion see the what the trunk says what the eye says what the nose says so no? i think we can learn from the our mythological things also if we possibly think in this direction in future henceforth onwards acceptance and surrender that everything is one i am a part of oneness only the forefather no my forefather says with the darwin where the monkeys living on the trees no but still that the monkeys in with, with with me which is jumping from out my inside no to prove myself if i work on the things to get the consciousness right and i let my monkeys in my dimag uh, but the child is me may jump any time and if we develop the consciousness of accepting what the other person says sometimes no it is his view that's fine and getting the mingle no with that bolte na panchamrut mein paanch cheez hai ek hi cheez ban ke aati hai to ye hum sochenge na to sabka bhala ho jaye i'm not here to preach but since last almost uh, one and a half year i'm working in the energy sector so this is the outcome of energy sector and uh, oh, fortunately uh, मलवाई साहब ने दो दिन पहले बोला भैया मिसिंग यू तो मैंने सोचा है आज मैं जाता ही हूं भैया आई एम बोर्न फ्रॉम यू राइट वी आर ऑल वन लेट मी बी विद द पीपल ओवर ऑल वन थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर अलाउिंग मी और रामा टू पुट डाउन माय व्यूज थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर बीइंग इन वननेस सरेंडर एंड नो इट्स रियली अमेजिंग थैंक यू थैंक यू यस केपी Hey Ramu, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So when you broach this topic, conflict, uh, what uh, what reminded me is nowadays when I see many WhatsApp groups, no, there is a conflict virtually, no, even among the friends also. Either conflicts because of no, two political parties, no, BJP versus Congress, or nowadays no because of what. Russia versus Ukraine, peoples na, taking sides, and the heated arguments are going on. It's not a after some point of time it be it doesn't be it becomes a unhealthy debate. So, so everybody na, people are really reacting there. They are not thinking and responding. Uh, I saw so many ideas have come from the friends. Other other couple of things I would like to add to that. One is uh, the energy exercises. Energy pulling and energy beaming exercise, and second thing is attention exercise. Again, there are two there. One is uh, looking at the fifty different things for for a few seconds each item, and the second one there is uh, looking at one one direction, paying attention in some other direction, as as we have practiced along with this. Sir, I think these two exercises also really helped me. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, there are so many conflicting uh, our no situations one can really land up into, but we can put our attention on where we want instead of just you no know, letting it go in the default mode. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yes, Lena. Yeah, yeah yes, KP. Yes, sir, Rama. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's that's a great way of bringing our attention back where we want instead of just letting it go. Right. Yes, uh, Lena. Uh, Rama sir, what I feel and what I experienced is uh, actually uh, the moment we say now it's uh, his or her point of view, we become uh, uh, calm in the calm state. You know? Yeah, I feel and I experience the also. Right, it's better to have a calm mind from the beginning. But yes, yes, thank yeah. you. I think I think that's the essence of the whole thing, right? You know, the mind suddenly goes into some trigger and some default mode. Mm -hmm. If we can bring the mind back to you know the calmness and consciousness awareness, mm -hmm. yeah, things will emerge because we have all the necessary knowledge and tools. It's only that we have to bring the mind to uh, balanced mm. state. 
then it will automatically work out to resolve the conflict instead of creating more conflict. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Patrick. Uh, sir, thank you, sir. Uh, actually, nowadays it was not my earlier state, but uh, thank God uh, with Alam, with being with Alam, good people. My current state is if conflict comes, if I realize that there is a conflict, my first question goes to in what way I am contributing to it. Or else, am I part of it? Like I used to say to my friends, no? my favorite statement, if my wife shouts at me, my wife is not a problem. My wife has a problem. It is my moral responsibility to go and see that or listen to that problem. Funnily, if I go and listen to that problem, I am the problem. <laughs> problem is me. <laughs> so in, knowingly or unknowingly, I contribute something to that conflict. Now my complete awareness and attention is on my side where in what way I contributed to this. That is how I just think, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So profound. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is not the real problem. It's what is the real problem when you try to understand, then you know. Right. What is the exact question, Amarji? Uh, so yesterday, uh, Abhinavji, yesterday we explored what is our default mode when we face with the conflict, right? We all very clearly explained that by default, we would like to avoid conflict. We would like to just keep quiet. We would like to go away from that. Um, we, sometimes we would like to prove our point. Uh, you know, all those things we looked at yesterday. But most of them are not really helping either us or the other person or the whole situation. So today we are exploring what is the, what is that we can do in the conflict situation, which brings out win-win solution for everyone. So that's the, yes. Uh, uh, yes, Asina ji, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I have, I have something really very nice to contribute here. I am yeah. living with my sister who is living all by herself for years. And her state of mind is very different. We love each other. We love each other so much. So whatever she, whatever I do, she tells me and she never approves of it. To wash something, she finds some fault. To put away things in its place, she finds some faults. And I can't believe that I can control my mind that I don't have to react to this. Because anything I do, she has something negative to comment. So I said, she is living on her own. She has her ways. I only have to learn to keep quiet as to what she keeps saying. And I'm here for the last eight days. And I have managed it very well. I haven't had a single com conflict. And she gets irritated at everything I do. But I, that there is no reaction for me. I don't know how that is happening because this EMC has helped me so much that I don't react to her. Otherwise, we would, I wouldn't be able to stay for, for a day with her. This is really I have learned from EMC. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Asinaji. Uh, also, so this, that is the first step. Like uh, Vetri said, so the sister is not the problem. Sister has a problem. So if you deeply dive into that, you may see that she expects something from you. Maybe she expects you to appreciate her, uh, give the love a lot more, right? So maybe you could reflect on that. Oh, okay. So you being calm and quiet is okay. That's good. But that is not uh, completely, that may not solve the problem completely. She really may love but you. Otherwise, no, otherwise there is no conflict. We love each other and we feel for each other. It's not Maybe that. expression. Jabar, jabar jasti nahi hai. But still, I know, I know how I'm handling myself. I'm very aware. And I know that if I reacted to whatever she kept saying, I wouldn't be able to stay here. Because I love her, I tolerate all that, and I still live with her. She's, to be very honest, she's very difficult. 
but since i love her and she i i have come to her house since i think i'm after 5 6 years so i said let me make the most of it yeah so yeah. so asina ji it is it is actually you uh, know i could really understand and appreciate this because uh, i have been also in similar environments where actually the other person wants our energy even if it is negative energy actually no she will be happy if you keep shouting and fighting with her also i i don't know. i don't know <laughs> yeah but 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 that's not the point we can give the positive energy so what they really require is the love and the energy so that's mm. what my experience was mm i don't know and i i tell you one incident when she is a chain smoker and i've been tolerating that smoke and i don't just i just don't like it but i'm just tolerating because i have to live in the same place once i told her i said that that's too much you control on your cigarettes she's saying don't tell me this i will i will snap up so i realize it is not possible for her to give that up so the best is i keep quiet there's no if i could have easily said hey, you just don't listen to anybody you already had cancer but still you go on and on i don't even make that statement yeah you don't need to actually you can easily look at that if she is knowing that no it is not good for her good for you still she smokes yeah. there is so much uh, no pain in her and uh, so much exactly. uh, diversion she needs and she doesn't know anything else this is the only thing she found and if we can bring something much more uh, attractive much more beautiful in our life which will really <clears throat> attract her then it will automatically drop so if at all you can bring something greater than this in our life which will help her i think that's the, that's that that requires some amount of work from uh, from you from all of us so i think that that could be one way to look at it mm -hmm. Thank okay, you, thank, thank you, Asana ji, to bring out the real life situation. But um, yeah, lot of lot of um, love and energy from all of us to really, you know, change the environment. Yeah, uh, yes. create uh, you know positive and uh, you know great energetic mm -hmm. situation over there. I could talk to talk now because she's gone out. Otherwise, I don't think I would have been able to say this to you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. But she will, she will talk. definitely listen to you. She will, you know, receive the best thing. But the only thing is, you have to look at, you know, her situation because her situation is so tough. That's why she got into this. So yes, you I bring know. Change. I know. You can bring change in a nice mm. way, not by forcing, not by shouting, not by. Yes, suggesting. that's true. Yeah, not not by advising. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Asmani. Wish you all the best to bring a great Thank change you. over there. thank you yes yes sadhanaj yeah i have been thinking because again the question is very deep uh, and uh, you know and then uh, i was just uh, you know since i was not there yesterday for the full time i was also wondering what is the impact of uh, you know the you know i'm so i'm so scared of conflict that uh, in order to avoid conflicts i'm not really living a complete life you know the conflicts could be with my wife with my father with my daughter with my you know people in my office neighbors uh, so uh, so i thought i'm someone who uh, who's very good at avoiding conflict but now i'm i just realized that i'm someone who is uh, who just compromise and compromise is not really a very accepting something exciting is just that dikhawa ka ki there is no conflict andar to conflict hai अगर बाहर नहीं है तो अंदर तो है एंड यू नो आई गॉट प्रेजेंट टू यू नो देर आर सर्टन पीपल इन माई लाइफ इज होम देर इज नो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट तो वेन आई एम सुखदीपक विद सुखदीपक जी देर इज नो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एंड देर आर अदर पीपल इन माई लाइफ विद होम देर इज नो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एंड देर आर सम पीपल विद होम देर सो मच ऑफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट देर आई एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड अबाउटिंग दम कि छोड़ो ना मतलब इफ आई एम विद देम समथिंग विल कम अप तो रादर अबॉइड and then i got present to uh, the definition uh, you know uh, what is what is that what is that quality those people possess that they are very less conflict and then i got present to the definition of love 
the definition of love is accepting a person the way he or she is and the way he or she is not so those who follow this definition that uh, you know those who accept me the way i am and the way i am not you know i have no conflict with them and they and uh, and by the way i'm not very good at that so I, and then i got present to the starting point of this emt which is judgments so the moment i have judgments about people there will be conflict if i have no judgments with the people there will be any conflict so i think starting point i remember about emt is it's all about judgments so if i can avoid judgments or if i can just get present to my own judgment then i will have a conflict with the people so that's what i want you to share yes yes abhinav yeah so so true that you know judgments and accepting ourselves that that is a starting point as you said many of us would like to you know avoid the conflict run away from that because you know we don't elevate ourselves to be you know able to really solve win win because by default either we want to run away or we want to overpower but there is always a possibility of creating a solution which is useful for all thank you yes betri Yeah, Ramaji. Uh, it is just in continuation to Vasanthi's sharing. I just feel like uh, sharing this, and it's uh, recently I got it, and uh, it is helping me a lot. And the concept, uh, open, open, now we all discussed uh, many times. The author who created this, Joe Vitale, he is describing about a story of a guy who treated fifty mental patient in asylum. Not. He not even seeing them, visiting them, and when we go deeper, asked him how you treated that fifty people. Now he said only two mantras. How are you? How did you do that, sir? Now, two mantra is nothing but I am sorry, I love you. I am sorry. Why? Because I see some problem in me. Because it problem is real, not real. All but I see something in me, so I am saying sorry for that. and i say i love you because i love you treats it and he says by simply chanting this he treated 50 people why i say this why i what i take it from here is we have so many loving people in our life and they are so so important to us and it is not always you go and treat them by words what we know or from our mind not required simply just sit back close your eyes think about that person bring that energy in front of you say i am sorry i love you keep doing it you will see the change in outside you will not believe one of my friend is sick i am not good at all these things at all i i am very new to this journey and learning lot of things from sir thanks to universe thanks to sir that day what i did i called him hey i will come to your room no 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 i am not feeling well it may be something you don't come i said no nothing doing i am coming there because that's a new year thing i went there i asked him to sit uh, three feet away from me and i sat i told him be quiet just receive whatever comes then i was sincerely praying and doing this i am sorry i love you i am sorry i love you some number of times after that uh, miraculously in one hour he has become all right and he is the one who is arranging all the new year party and we did all the uh, possible nonsense to <laughs> can be done in new year and he is all right it was miracle kind of stuff then i started feeling that it works for our loving people no you can start healing them inside i am sorry i love you you don't need to go and tell them but if you do it i believe that something will happen uh, as energy just start of sharing with you thank you very much hello uh, yes uh, um, what mr vetivel uh, said is correct uh, there is a manifestation is there different kind of manifestations are there we do it for ourselves as well as we do it for others also definitely it love a healing for thing because a lot of my friends are doing this manifest manifestation in the morning and evening with affirmatives in fact so it really it works out in fact thank you thank you so if i may add few more sentences to what uh, vetri said I, that can be the shortest i am sorry i love you it can be also i am sorry please forgive me thank you i love you 
So it can be those four sentences as well. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. So these are the four words to be exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. thank yeah. you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, thanks for trying to bring it. Uh, Ramaji, on a lighter note, this four statement has become my conversation with my wife all the time. Wow. Yes, yes, Katie. A couple of things. When you said, I am sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. So this, I am sorry, please forgive me. Maybe to me, it looks like you are getting into apologetic mode. That you are, you have committed a mistake and you are feeling sorry. I'm just not getting it, is it? Then are you not belittling yourself by saying so? I love you, thank you is fine. Yeah, so no, uh, not really belittling. So this is where your openness and surrender comes into picture. So we know ourselves that, you know, um, we, we, we might have, actually we know very well that, you know, so many mistakes we made knowingly or unknowingly. And even unknowingly, if some mistakes we have made, so we are trying to uh, ask sorry for that, you know, forgiveness for that. So when you are asking, you are not just asking the other person alone. You are asking the whole universe, right? You are you are um, surrendering and you know prostrating in front of the universe, not just the other person. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Can you be uh, saying sorry? You are only empathizing and and passing on your sympathy with the other person. A close friend is not good. He's feeling bad or he's he's running temperature. What do you say? We say I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry to know you. So similarly, you let us say I am sorry, and then I love you. This is the shorter version. The longer version is the four lines which uh, Ramasar Ramasar had said. That is the essence of uh, open up ono. Extending a bit further, if I may add for two minutes, uh, Ramasar. Yes, sir. Yes, Majesty. Yes. Yeah, there is a one of the biggest hospitals in uh, Tamil Nadu happens to be a general hospital, right opposite the main station of the city. There, a few years back. A lady was uh, deposited there by her uh, in-laws because uh, they could not uh, tend to her. They could not take care of her. She was uh, suffering from stroke. That nobody else to look look after her. So every Sunday, the sisters of charity, a group of nuns, used to visit. That day happened to be a Sunday, so they came and prayed for her. Next Sunday also they came, and there was no improvement. And since it's a government hospital, nobody came to visit her. Nobody came to take her back because there's no improvement. So they left her just like that. So the Sisters of Charity requested the government uh, authorities, the hospital authorities, whether they can take her and then keep them with her. So the government, they're quite happy. Yes, sir, please execute a bond. And since they already know them, they asked them to sign a form, form and then they allowed her to take this lady. Mind you, the lady was absolutely bedridden. She was not able to move her limbs. She was barely living like a vegetable. And after two months, the doctor saw the lady had come down to the hospital. They did not know what miracle had been done by these sisters of charity. So they asked, here we've been tending to her. We've been giving her medicines. We've been taking care of all her bodily needs. And what did you do? Do you have a hospital? Do you have a set of uh, uh, doctors? Then she said, sir, we do not know anybody. We just looked after her. Whatever medicines you gave, we gave. Whatever bandage you asked me to tie on the wounds and all, we used to do. The only thing is, we added love to what, what all we did. In government hospital, people used to do as if it is a duty. Whereas there, they started injecting what is called the dose of love. Here, this is where the uh, hoponapo, hoponapono concept also comes. They did it with a sense of sacrifice, as if it is an act of service. And within, the, within two months, the lady was all right. They made her wait there for one more month. Then they brought the lady. All the way to the hospital just to show to the doctors. The lady came and thanked them. This is how if you're able to treat anybody with love, affection, warmth, and empathy, you'll find miracles in life. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Manjasa. So obviously, we can use this in the conflict situation as well. See, one, the other person drops their defense as well, right? If at all we made a mistake, we are asking for the forgiveness to the universe and to the other person. 
And also when you say, I'm sorry and ask for the forgiveness, the other person also drops the defense and there is a good possibility of accepting uh, for you to, first of all, look at the bigger picture and second, the other person to accept or understand your point of view as well or the modified points of view. Yes, thanks Vipi for bringing that up. So what will you do in a conflict situation to bring win-win situation? Can I add something? Yes, I should. Uh, the conflict in our mind is created because of difference in our own mind and heart opinions. The heart is telling something differently and the mind or the brain is telling something different. When we listen to the brain, it adds to the conflicts. If we listen to the heart, that diminishes. So whenever there is a conflict, we should start listening to our heart and not the mind. The mind always reflects past. It reflects se serious situations or the wrongs that have been done to us. And the heart says, forget about everything. I, I love that person. I like that person. That's, that's it, finished. Nothing else is more important than my feeling for that person. So whenever there is a conflict, I listen to my heart and not the mind. And many times the mind wants to talk, scold, and do so many physical actions. But when you listen to the heart, you only open your hands and would like to really uh, come closer to the person and feel and pat on the back and say, it's all right, let's move forward. Whatever has happened, has happened. That is the past. Let us leave it. We are together. So whenever there is a conflict, I listen to my heart and not the mind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ashokji. Uh, Ramaji, there is an, uh, a certain impact. I am some of the program. There, one of my mentors says that there is a twin heart meditation is there. That is, uh, the heart and the mind will be connected together. There is a meditation is at for 15 minutes, in fact. So, once you start doing it, uh, uh, both will uh, relate together and then you can take a decision also. If, if you want, I can send that link to you, in fact. It, it is about, it's called a twin heart meditation, in fact. So, yeah, please, whatever sir. the mind please and uh, heart, both will balance together and then you can take a decision on this. That's what I am doing it, in fact. Great. Please yeah, send that. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll, I'll, send, I'll, I'll, send, I'll send it to you. It is it, YouTube. Oh. I'll send it to you. Anybody can practice it. In fact, morning and evening, you can do it. I'll send it to you. Right. Thank okay. you. Yeah. So, Neelam, uh, would you like to say what you are writing? Uh, yeah. So, the Twin Heart Meditation is by Master Cho, and it's uh, through pranic healing. And um, yeah, so he has a bunch of uh, videos, like uh, he said on YouTube. And um, um, yeah, that's about it. That Mr. Sai Natham said it's on that. And um, a lot of a uh, lot of research has been done. I think the concept comes from Hawaii. The whole Pono Pono, and um, it's just been known to like after maybe decades or um, having a ghosting time with one another, people have naturally come back to one another. And uh, you can even imagine that the person is on the stage and that you're just uh, seeing them come closer to you from the stage and, or you're on the stage and you're seeing them. And that also helps with that visualization with the whole pono pono. And sometimes even lighting a candle is a good addition and having their name underneath the candle, written under the candle that helps with your name and to see some sort of a, you know, like harmony and to be in sync with the person. But um, yeah, Master chose going back to that, the Twin Hearts Meditation is also, it's just like the concept to give back to the earth too. So what you're taking, you're giving back and you're giving that um, 
love and the unconditional concept, you know, of acceptance. You're doing that with compassion and you're giving that to every living being. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Neelam. So there are unlimited tools available for us to really use it during the conflict and create something very useful for all of us. So Samiraji, uh, would you like to uh, say something here? Uh, yesterday, you, know, you really raised this question that instead of being quiet or running away from the situation, conflict situation, what is that we can do? So that's, that's the exploration today. So do you have anything to add to that, uh, Samiraji? No, I think uh, what I learned, you know, even I was doing this Hopunopo uh, long time back, I've started, but uh, I wasn't aware of that how many times you have to do. But uh, recently I attended a meditation and that lady said, you know, you have to take the name of the people uh, whom you're trying to reach out to. And uh, you say it 108 times. And I was just doing that when you uh, said my name just now. So what I do is, you know, in the morning after my prayers, I try and finish that 108, you know. Uh, so I do it for each family member. So I've just done it for one of my daughter, then I'll do the others. And uh, that's how I feel that it, it will show me results, you know, because it will also, and I feel everybody should uh, take this cue and uh, do, do it because it's going to help in a big way. Right, because the conflict is mostly with our close ones and of course, conflict within us also. So if we yeah. can really, you know, um, clear those conflicts, it will be uh, amazing. Yeah. We can have an excellent relationship with people. We can create something much better. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Samiraji. So before we close, uh, Milanji, do you want to say something? Kasha, of course, Kasha, you are traveling, but if you want to say something. Right well, the uh, since the Vedic era, they knew this. Very can you hear me? Way, yes, Milan. Also, you are able to hear you. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mustard Just one second. I will move away from this. Mustard does not exist <clears> on the uh, Yeah, the, the concept of conflict, as I understand this, basically, it lies in me, lies in my mind. And basically, uh, it is before giving giving a, a blame to somebody else. It's, it's look inside and try and do a bit of analysis. And uh, what Ashokji has said, actually, I fully uh, endorse it. Is that operate from heart, not 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 from head always. And this is probably we can get over the conflicts and move on with life and uh, it dispense with judgment and uh, move move ahead and uh, lead your life. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So conflict is, uh, uh, first of all, yeah, sometimes you know, it can be like somebody said that everybody is looking at the same thing. It's only that the path or the way they look at is different. So if we can elevate ourselves to another enhanced mode or balanced mode, we will know that there is no conflict in the first place. It's only the way we look at it. So that is one uh, aspect of it. Uh, second, when you really look at it, the other person is really accepting your point of view and you know, that's the real solution. But the way the person puts it is different. So if you can be in uh, allowance and if you can really you know, uh, look at appropriately and listen appropriately, there is no conflict at all. And the uh, other uh, important way of looking at the conflicting situation is the it's an opportunity for us to create a new reality for all of us, create something big. So we can use our our capabilities and our, our tools and create something very unique uh, in the world. So with that, uh, Kuldeep Ji, would you like to say something? And then of course, add your shari, please. Uh, good morning, friends. I, I feel that when somebody says something or somebody does something, it is in our hand to make it a conflict or not to make it a conflict. 
and how do we do this if we are in reliance of the isness of this situation then conflict within this exists it means that if we acknowledge that it is possible that whatever somebody is saying or somebody is doing it is normal it is possible that they can do it then there is no resistance and there is no conflict but moment we deal with it as if there is something wrong or it should not happen then the seed of conflict is shown so it is to a very large extent our choice to make a situation a conflict or not to make a situation conflict conflict by itself is not because of the situation or because of the activity of the person it is because it, it is because it depends upon the manner how do we deal with the situation and these words that is what i feel thank you sir thank you yeah and uh, as as you mentioned we somebody has said ke toofan bhi aana zaruri hai zindagi mein toofan bhi aana zaruri hai zindagi mein pata lagta hai ki kaun haath chhoda kar bhagta hai aur kaun haath pakda means we also make toofan as a non conflict situation because there is lessons to be learned thank you uh, thank you translate also please they say that a stormy situation is also important it should come in our life because then we come to know that who is with us and who is against us so we can take the good point of that storm also thank you thank you very much amazing thank you. thank you so great uh, great exploration today as well um, so we have all the intentions tools and power within us to handle the conflict in a very creative way so let's all go ahead and do it in real life thank you very much we will see you tomorrow Seven o'clock, EMC. And a, and a final word, uh, Rama ji. Yes. This two days about conflict, amazing going. Seriously, if I am given a power, I would give a certificate to all the participants attended two days, listen to this con conflict and participated. Are the masters of conflict management? You have completed course called Masters in Conflict Management. Now, hereafter, nobody can go say that I have a conflict. Now we have to manage conflict which others has. We have all the knowledge in the world. Beautiful, Kamaji. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Deep gratitude great. to you. Yeah, great contribution from every one of us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much.